Good afternoon, New York, and the rest of our listeners around the globe. My name is June Stoyer, and I'm the host of the Clean Energy View Radio Show, which is a special series focused on the world of clean energy. Our podcasts are available on iTunes under the Organic View Radio Network, or you can simply visit cleanenergyview.com. If you have a question, please send me a tweet at June Stoyer or post a comment on our page at facebook.com forward slash clean energy view. If you'd like to be on the show or would like to find out about sponsorship opportunities, please contact us at info at cleanenergyview.com. Today's show is sponsored by RamVPN.com, the leading provider of next-generation online anonymity and VPN security solutions. Their architecture is unique, tamper-safe, and 100% guaranteed. They even accept Bitcoin. For more information, please visit their website at www.RamVPN.com. On today's show, Dan Riker, the Interim President and Chief Executive Officer for ACOR, will talk about the upcoming Renewable Energy Finance Forum, which will be taking place on June 24th through the 25th in New York City. So I'd like to welcome to the show, Mr. Dan Riker. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome to the show. Great to be with you. Mr. Riker, could you tell us a little bit about your role at ACOR? I have been on the board of ACOR since its founding in 2001, uh, but recently have become the the interim president and CEO. We are in the middle of a major search right now to find a a new CEO, and I've taken over the day-to-day running of of ACOR along with my position at Stanford um, as executive director of a center there on energy policy and finance. Thank you. What is new at the forum this year, and what sets it apart from other events? So the the, um, the Renewable Energy Finance Forum in New York next week really is the is a premier uh, meeting of all the real experts on how we finance clean energy, particularly renewables. Um, and there'll be many hundreds of people there representing banks and private equity firms, venture capital firms, and then also uh, developers seeking funding, folks from government who. Um, are also interested in moving large amounts of capital into projects and earlier stage research and government folks who also put some money into this whole area. So it's going to be a great assemblage of of top folks um, in renewable energy, particularly who are focused on how you lower the cost and increase the flow of capital to deploy all sorts of renewable energy sources. I should note ACOR is broadly focused on all renewable energy uh, not just solar and wind. We, we really cut, cut across the spectrum, uh, geothermal, hydropower, biomass, and both electricity technologies, but also fuels as well, how we can make renewable fuels from current generation crops like corn, but also advanced technologies like cellulosic ethanol. So this is going to be an opportunity for the entire spectrum of renewables to look at um, all of the sources of capital that uh, can be brought to bear on accelerating the deployment of renewables in this country and around the world. Who are some of the key speakers this year? We have a whole host of people ranging from a top person from from Morgan Stanley, one of the top investment firms, the, the chief executive officer of a major utility, Southern Company, a research firm that Bloomberg owns called Bloomberg New Energy Finance. We're going to have a number of of key officials, including the chairman of energy and finance in New York State, Richard Kaufman, who previously was at the Department of Energy. We will have the the current head of the National Renewable Energy Lab, the lead government lab on renewables. And on from there, uh, folks look at the REF Wall Street website, you'll you'll see a great, great list of of people who are going to who are going to be there from from all walks of life who are working in various ways on renewables. For any of the companies out there that have cutting-edge technology in renewable energy, what do you recommend as far as exhibiting or even participating? Well, quite specifically, there is going to be a full panel dedicated to the innovation side of this. Um, We'll have some top venture capital people. Uh, as I said, we'll have the, the head of, the, of one of the great labs of the world focused on renewable energy, a former assistant secretary of energy at the, for efficiency and renewables who spent years um, moving government money into this area. We're going to have a top official from the California Energy Commission 
the, the person charged with moving renewables forward in California. So there will be a whole host of people who can talk about the financing of early stage technologies, the policy around them, and kind of the state of technology. You know, how far along are we with these advanced technologies and what more needs to happen and what are the opportunities to, to get involved? Mr. Riker, thank you so much for being on the show today, and it's been a pleasure having you on to talk about the Renewable Energy Finance Forum, which is actually next week. I'll be there as well and look forward to seeing you as well as so many leaders in the world of renewable energy. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed the opportunity to talk about uh, Ref Wall Street next week. And folks, please check out REFFWallStreet.com for more information. And also check out the companion article for this interview, which will be available on CleanEnergyView.com. Thank you for tuning in. This has been June Stoyer with the Clean Energy View Radio Show. Have a great afternoon.